Good morning guys, it's Becky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. On my channel, I am going through my good midlife crisis where I am journeying through my 40s and I am working very hard to get my poop in a group. In order to do this, I have been working on my physical, my financial, and my mental health. And today's video is going to be a financial health video. Today is Friday, April the 7th, and I am going to be budgeting out my money for the second week of April, which for me goes from today, which is Friday, April the 4th, through next Thursday, Thursday, April the 13th. Um, and what this means for me is I get paid bi-weekly, and so last week was a paycheck day for me, and then I budget out my money, and then I leave whatever is left over in a rollover category. That is its job. And um, then on the next Friday, which is today, I put that back up in the ready to be assigned, and then we assign that money out a job. Uh, this is a way that I found works for me mentally. Um, I know it's not the way a lot of people do their YNAB or their budget by paycheck because I also use the budget by paycheck method by the budget mom. Um, it's not a way a lot of people do it, but for me it worked out better um, in a lot of ways. And I can go into that a little bit. I know if you're not new, welcome back. Thank you so much for sticking with me and uh, coming back and checking out this video. Um, you've heard me mention this before, but I think it's been a little while since I have. And if you are new, Thanks so much for clicking on this video. I hope you find it useful and helpful for your budgeting journey. Or if you're just curious to see what other people are doing, um, I hope that you find this entertaining and also useful. Uh, but the, I will go into a little bit of detail as to why I do that. Also, if you're not new, I think I fixed the uh, lag problem that I was having with my computer. Uh, some of it, I think, is the darkness in this room with the time change. I think that the darkness is contributing to it, but also I had a lot of programs installed on this computer that like when I was trying to set up this whole, the new camera situation and the, uh, the programming, I, I think I downloaded a lot of programs that I don't need. And then with the videos, it was just starting to lag. So I think I fixed it. Also check out the shirt that Nathan got me from um, uh, some convention he went to for work. He's an IT, so <laughs> I thought it was super cute. So. Anyway, it has nothing to do with this video. I just thought it was cute. So I'm going to shrink myself up into the corner like I always do so we can get started. It is 7.28, but I don't have a lot to do. It's an off week for me. Um, also, y'all, I'm in the Austin area, if you're not familiar with me, and it has been raining for three days, and my allergies are, like, so, so bad. I actually went to the pharmacy yesterday and bought like the decongestant, like the like kind of meds that have the decongestant in it. I literally have not purchased these since they put them behind the pharmacy counter because they make you feel almost like a criminal where you have to like give them your license and they make you sign something saying you're not gonna cook meth. Uh, I just haven't bought them since they did that, but I felt so bad. It wasn't yesterday, it was two days ago. I felt so bad that I actually went and bought that for the first time since they put them behind the counter and that was years and years ago. And that's how bad I felt the last couple of days. So everything is off. I've just, my brain is not really here. So I'm glad I only have like one, two, three, four, five, six things. I literally have six things to budget out today. So this video should be pretty short. But a disclaimer to that is I talk a lot. So short is relative when it's a Becky video. Um, Okay, so the reason, the main reason that I decided to switch to a weekly budget instead of a bi-weekly budget is because I found that putting all of my money into my categories for dining out, for groceries, for things like that, when I had it all in one lump sum, I spent it all immediately. And then I would have the rest of the two-week period where I didn't have anything available. And I would stick to that for the most part but it just made it really tough to get through that two week period without any money available. Um, but I found for the same amount of money, I would put the same amount of money in that set in that um, category, but I would spread it out over two weeks and it would last me two weeks. So if I put $50 in on one Friday and $50 in on the next Friday, I could make that $100 last me two weeks as opposed to putting $100 in on one Friday and it would be gone in one weekend and then I wouldn't have anything left. It was just a complete mental thing for me, and it worked out better for me this way. So I decided to switch it around. Um, that was a personal choice. And again, I say this in almost every one of my budgeting videos, 
but personal budgeting should be personal and you have to find the way that makes it work for you because if it's not working for you, then what is the point of doing it? Um, that's, that's how I feel about budgeting. So you will see that I did go a little over in my, my dining out and I know, I know that dining out is a category that is touchy for some people, but I decided to uh, treat my mom and my nephew to a meal last week, and instead of putting that in my giving category, I put it in my dining out category. I might maybe should have put it in my giving category, um, but I decided to categorize it as dining out instead of giving because technically it was a meal out. Normally, I put it in giving. This week, I decided to put it in dining out. I don't know why, but that was about 40 bucks. So technically, dining out on myself, I did not even reach my weekly goal um, of what I spent on myself. But because I included like a $40 meal for my mom and my nephew in there, that uh, it did go over this week. So that is why that number is high. But I am going to go ahead and give myself my normal $50 for dining out. Every week I give myself $50 for dining out. Um, and I know that sounds high, but... That is, that is what works for me in my budget. If I give myself less, I'm probably just going to go over. Um, this is only two meals out for me a week. And that's just what works for me. That, that it may not be what is best for you, but that is what works for me in my lifestyle. And some weeks I don't do it. Some weeks I have money left over. Um, and I had a comment last night. I saw it briefly this morning. I didn't really read it, um, but I saw it this morning quickly when I was glancing, um, asking if, if I don't reach it, if I don't reach, use all my dining out, what do I do with it? Sometimes I leave it. Most of the time I will leave it in that category and let it roll over in case I have like a nice meal that I want to do. Like sometimes I want to take myself out to a nice steak dinner or do something super fun. Um, and so I'll leave money in that category. And then sometimes, um, I might move it to cover something else. Like maybe I'll move it into my giving category or into my grocery category if I'm short. Um, it just depends on how my week is looking. One of the great things about Wine App, which is the app that you are seeing here, I can't believe I didn't mention that yet. Um, the app that I use to budget out my my money, excuse me, is Wine App, which is you need a budget. Hang on, for reference, you need a budget. Um, this is the app. It's kind of like a digital cash stuffing app. If you're not comfortable using cash, even if you do use cash, you can still use YNAB in conjunction with it. Um, but this is how I do it. And, um, there is a link to try this in my description. If you want to try it for 34 days for free, you can use the link in my description box. If you like it and you've used my link and you decide to sign up for it, you'll get an additional 30 days for free. So if you've used my link, you'll get 64 days for free and I will get 30 days for free if you do sign up for it. So we both win when you both have wine up. So it's fantastic. Um, but one of the four main rules of YNAB, if you decide to check it out, even if you don't try it, but if you decide to just watch some videos on it, one of the four main rules is they call it roll with the punches. And that is they know that you're going to overspend in some categories some months and you're going to underspend in some categories some months. So like my gas budget, I always budget $50 every, every month, every two weeks, I budget $50. Very rarely, not never, but very rarely do I reach that goal. Um, I budget it because sometimes I do hit it and I'd want to have it there in case I need it. Um, but I don't normally hit it. So like this week, I ended up pulling $25 and using that to cover the overspending for the uh, meal I took my mom to. And I put some of it in to um, cover the auto expenses um, because I, I had gotten a... Sorry, y'all, my brain is not working. Um, an oil change. And so I wanted to try to top back up my um, auto maintenance category, my auto maintenance sinking fund. Um, but I don't have money to put in sinking funds right now because I'm paying off my cruise. Um, anyway, so I use some of that money, but I still, still leave some in there. I didn't drain it. Anyway, what you, well, one of the main rules of YNAB is I have a heater going because it's really cold here really cold for Austin in April is like in the forties. That's cold. Y'all I'm cold. It's probably part of why I'm also sick. Um, you pull money from one category to cover in another category. If you've overspent, that's just how 
how budgets need to work to make it work. They can't be inflexible or they're not going to work. Um, so yes, I leave it here if I can, if I can't, if I need to cover another category with it, I do that with it. It just depends on how my week or my month is looking. Um, so anyway, yes, $50 in there. Groceries get $75 a week. I do still have money left from last week. Um, I did put extra money in here last week because I had a Thrive box that came in. Uh, Thrive is an online grocery store that I get some of my like pantry essentials from because I have celiac, which means I have to be very strictly gluten free. And um, some of the pantry essentials I can get a lot cheaper from Thrive than I can from other stores. And some I can, there are some things like they have a gluten free taco mix and they have a gluten-free like gravy mix and some really good gluten-free pastas that I can't really find other places. Um, it is getting easier to find in my local HEB, but still there's some things I can't find. Like I have not found that gluten-free taco mix anywhere else. So um, I do, I'm a really big fan of tacos. <laughs> so uh, I do every, every couple of months get a, ta get a Thrive box. I don't think I'm going to renew that membership next year, but um I did, I did let that Thrive Box ship. I didn't end up spending as much on actual groceries this week as I thought I would. Um, so I still have some money left. But for right now, I'm going to put another 75 in there. I might get extra groceries this week. I, I just don't know. Again, if I need it elsewhere, I can, I can pull it and move it if I need to. Fun Money gets $10 a week. I am not going anywhere this weekend um, I don't plan to, I don't feel great. I'm going to use this weekend to get caught up on the videos. I did post my one, one of my cruise videos. Um, my plan for this weekend is to try to get a couple more up, get my March closeout video up because I did close out my March budget. I just haven't filmed that video yet. I was planning to the other day. I just have not been feeling well. Um, get my, get my cruise videos put together there. I like, I have all the videos. I just like all the footage. I just have to get it all put together for y'all. Um, and then just relax because I just want to feel better. Like I know it's all allergies. And once this rain clears up, I should feel better. But then next weekend, Lord willing, I do plan to go to the Renaissance fair with some friends. So, um, I've already purchased my tickets, which is what this $20 is. Costco had their, their Renaissance fair tickets for the local fair here. Um, for forty dollars for two. So if you are looking to go to the Sherwood Forest, Forest Sherwood Forest Fair, um, in the out in McDade, the Costco, at least the one here in Leander, I don't know, or in Cedar Park, I don't know if uh, other ones in the area do, but they have the tickets uh, for forty dollars for two of them. So Nathan and I split that. So. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I already purchased my tickets, but I still have $40 available to spend for fun. And then I should have another $10 next week. So that'll give me $50 in my fun category. Ecclesial expenses. I give myself $60 a week. That is, uh, $40 for the cash donation and $20 for toward, uh, dinner to lunch to go out afterwards. So the $60, I did not end up pulling out of my budget because I still had it in cash from my trip that my cousin had paid me back, reimbursed me for the parking. Um, I ended up, which I had never put back into this budget because I don't handle cash well, which is why I don't do cash budgeting. Um, so I just ended up not counting that $40 in this budget. Um, and then, uh, just counted the $20 that I used to go out to lunch afterwards. Um, but the, uh, $40 I just had in cash and I just put it in the donation. And then I don't put anything in any of the rest of these unless it's a payday week or the beginning of the month, like pets and household and budgeting. That's a once a month. And last week was the once a month that I get those. So that is it for those. The only other things I need to fund, I have two bills that are coming out this week. So like I said, this, um, this week I have from the 7th through the 13th. So I have to make sure that I cover all of the bills for this week because those bills are going to draft whether I have them funded or not. So I need to make sure I fund them. So I have my Adobe Acrobat Pro, which is set to come out tomorrow. And that is for $21.64. So I already have one of the great things about YNAB is you can tell it, like you can set a target. They used to call them goals. Now they call them targets. Um, and you can tell it how much it's, you want it to, how much it's going to be every month. And then every month, all you have to do is come in here and hit this underfunded button. 
and you don't have to hit any anything else. You can just do this. Technically, technically, if I undo this, I can just do both of these at once. So my YouTube music will also come out. I can do that. And then I can just do both of these categories at once. So there, it fills both of them. I could do my entire budget all at once if I wanted to. I don't have enough money to cover this, but this is how much my entire budget is underfunded for this month. <laughs> $3,137.90. That's also super helpful if you're trying to just get an idea of how much money you need for the rest of the month. And you can like sit down with your calculator and be like, okay, this is how much I need. How much do I anticipate coming in? Do I have enough to cover what I say I need? What can I cut back on? What do... Do I have more than I need? Where can I put extra money? What can I put into next month? <clears throat> it's super, having your target set is a super useful part of, of YNAB in my opinion. Um, so anyway, those are the only two bills that I have. And that is all that I have to fund this week, which gives me a rollover total of $446.41. As I mentioned, I do a, I give this a job because one of the, the very first rule of YNAB is you give every dollar a job. Um, so I'm going to put this in my week three category. This money's job is to go to my week three budget. $446.41 is going to go to week three's budget. And then I shrink this down so I can't see it. So I have no money left. All of my money has been assigned. Everything has a job. I still, still can't use a trackpad. Oh, Becky, Becky, Becky. Okay. And everything is good to go. If you see green, that means that you have reached your expected money for the month. Um, if you see, well, it's blue because I use toolkits, but it, I think it's normally yellow. I don't know. I can't remember what it is without, but it's, it's a different color here. I think it's yellow. Um, that means you still have money to go, but you can see how this is not full. This like uh, clock looking thing here is not full. That means I'm like not all the way full of what I need for the month. And then this checkbox means it is full. This exclamation mark with a yellow means you've overspent, but it's on a card. So it's not, um, it's not going to really affect your budget. You're just going to accrue debt if you don't pay it by the end of the month. This is Nathan's half of the um, Renaissance Fair ticket. That's what that is. And he will pay me back the way Nathan and I, if you're new, the way Nathan is my roommate slash landlord, we, uh, I put everything into split wise. And then at the end of the month, when I pay rent, I take off what he owes me from what I pay him in rent. And then I just put that into this category and that's how he pays me back. It's just, I, he takes, I take it off of the rent that I pay him at the end of the month. Um, so this will be paid back. It will be paid back to the card. So that's like this is what he owes me technically. He owes me $39.15 from groceries and $20 from Venmo. This $23.65 is actually last night's dinner. But <laughs> he owes me 20 of that. I just couldn't pay $23.65 on this card because it's just from last night. It hasn't cleared. Every Friday I try to pay off my cards. That's what these are. Um, these are just not cleared. <laughs> so, um, and then if you see red with an exclamation mark, which I don't have, anything red, thankfully, but that means you've overspent and it's in cash and you've actually overspent and your budget is no longer accurate because you are spending money that you do not have and you need to cover it with another category. You need to come up here in a category that has money and pull money out of that category and move it to the category that is red or you're you're spending money you don't have and you can't trust what your budget says. That's what those colors mean. Okay, y'all. I'm done. I'm actually done. And I'm actually going to stop talking because my throat is kind of getting a little sore. Um, and I'm going to go get refill my coffee and make some breakfast and let y'all have like some time back. This is probably the shortest wine up budget with me I've ever done. <laughs> but I love you so much. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. I hope you have a fantastic weekend plan. Let me know what you're doing in the comments below. Are you going out to the Ren Fair this weekend? Or if you're in a different area, 
know what what's going on in your area oh it's easter weekend do you have off today i know a lot of people have off nathan has off today um but i work in healthcare, so we don't get off um because people still get sick i'm not a front worker so i don't have to go out and see patients thankfully because i'm sick um but i i work on the back end so i still have to work even when it's the holidays um but uh, I hope you have off this weekend. I hope you have something fun planned with your family. And um, anyway, I hope you're having a great day. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are enjoying this content and you want to follow more of it, please, I hope you consider subscribing. I would love to have you join us. Thank you so much. I hope you'll have a fantastic day wherever you are. And I hope to see you later. Bye.